Hello everybody, welcome back. We're going to commentate round of 16 for the last player standing number 3, and I've got with me my caster in crime, Axel Toss. How you doing, Axel Toss? Doing pretty good, man. I mean, last player standing sounds kind of barbaric, but, you know, that's okay. It's completely true, though. Only the last player standing wins. I know, man. What happens to the players who aren't standing? Oh, man, I don't know. I don't want to they find out. They get thrown out. into a deep pit of death. Hopefully. Or did they go to a loser bracket? <laughs> they get what they deserve. So True. let's talk about our players we got here. We have Is Crazy Moving. He is our blue Zerg player on the right side of the map. I don't know too much about him personally, but... Hey, I have some trivia for you, Shakino. Okay, let's hear it. And you should know this. I'm a little disappointed in you. So, Kode qualifiers, what do you know about them? Uh, they're happening right now. Yes. Do you know which players are involved? Some. This man, the Blue Zerg player, IS Crazy Moving, qualified for Code A GSL tonight. Wow, that's some great news. I know. I'm not even kidding. That's pretty good. I just blew your mind. You just blew my mind. What a perfect timing here. We've got Isn't this. Isn't that awesome? That, like this. this, like I saw this. I saw the name. And we're like, oh my god. I only, I've only heard of this guy because he qualified for GSL Code A tonight. How cool is that? That is, that's pretty, uh, pretty good timing here. Um, it's super cool, man. Yeah. It's like the stars aligned just for this game. I know. It's ridiculous. So, uh, and his opponent over here on the left, Katari. He is probably one of the most unknown but awesome Protoss players on the North American ladder. Yeah, and I have something about him too. Are uh -oh. you ready? Let's hear Are you it. sure you're ready, Anshikino? I'm ready. Okay, I actually don't have anything. I was just oh, testing you. Man. I don't know much about him. Um, I hear he's good, though. He's been on the ladder. Oh, okay, I do have something. Okay, I played him play him today. Yes. If I had won my first round game, I would have played this guy. Duh. There we go. Once there again. We go. Everything is, you know, aligning itself in this game. Kind of crazy. But yeah, Katari's been around since beta. He's just been crushing it. Um, he's a really good Protoss player. So I really look forward to see uh, what he's going to do this game versus this evidently now Code A Zerg player. So... Yeah, I mean, already, I think Katari's build is kind of weird. He's actually walling in on the high ground. Um, on this map, a lot of players love the 15 Nexus for Forge Fast Expand play, but Katari not doing that. Yeah, he's not much and of And getting a his second gas, too, so I don't know. Yeah, man. from the play style I've seen him play, he is very unorthodox Protoss. That's why I really like enjoy watching him play. He was doing, like, three Gateway Warp Prism drops, like, a month into the StarCraft 2. Pretty crazy hmm. against Terran. Wow. So, uh, Does, he stream? Does he stream? No. He also doesn't go to very many tournaments. This is actually like the second tournament I've ever seen him play in. But evidently he played in that uh, the tournament you were talking about, the Play Him tournament. Play so. Him. But I don't yes. think he's ever been to any lands, just mostly online events. And I don't know if I should be shouting out other tournaments. Um, so Play Him is terrible. <laughs> you should all play in Last Man Standing, not Play Him. Sorry if I uh, did something wrong there. You know. You're fine. Okay. Play Him is a cool tournament. StarCraft is a great community. Everybody gets along. It's good. So is Crazy Moving uh, is going for a pretty safe expansion. Looks like he's I think he's gonna get speed here. He's got enough minerals or gas. Actually, no, not enough know, yet. He's working on it. Oh, yeah, yeah. he's at eighty. I was looking at two hundred. Like, yeah, I was like, why has he got it yet? <laughs> he's blue, not green, and he's a Zerg, not a Protoss. He's uh, forcing a lot of Zerglings here, so. Uh, there's a lot of Zerglings coming out. Speed is nowhere close to coming out, so uh, he should be able to deal a little bit of damage with these Stalkers and Zealots if he controls this properly. He's going to go in there and go for some drone kills. <laughs> he's just going for it with this Stalker and Zealot, and he's going to get a couple Zergling kills. Yep, that Zealot is working on that Queen. Nice micro here. He's going for both of these units at the same time. Zergling's chasing that Stalker. Looks like he's going to get the Queen. No, he's not. Nope. But those Stalkers yeah, um, are doing work on those Zerglings. This is an interesting little push from, uh, from Katari. It's working out decently. A zealot and a couple stalkers. Stalkers still alive, and they're pretty good against slowlings. Eon Shikino. They can micro them, out micro them all day. Uh, but the queen is getting sniped down. It does go down, and now these links are trying to clean up these stalkers, but they're just going to run away and laugh as they try to chase them off creep. Um, I don't. I think stalkers are faster. I can't tell. Are they the same speed? Uh, we got 2.95 versus 2.95. They're the exact same speed. Zergling gets into the main, so he's getting a little bit of scouting. Not going to see much, though. He sees two gas. He sees a nexus. So this was a one-gate expand behind some pressure. Uh, yeah, it's weird. I kind of like it, though. I kind of like it. It uh, and, was pretty uh, cost-effective. Look at the resources lost tab. I mean, 150 versus 300. Those are numbers yeah. I like to see, especially killing yes. a queen. 
Uh, yeah, that's that's a huge deal. Killing that queen, limiting that not only the creep spread but the larva injects. Always a good thing. And um, interesting to note, Crazy Movement has a lot of gas. Uh, he's approaching 300 gas. Still has guys on there. You'll see a lot of Zerg players, you know, take guys out of gas immediately. But looks like there's going to be a Zergling counterattack attempt. Not sure how well that's going to work out because Katari has plenty of sentries and stalkers here. Um, but I don't know, man. Isn't Katari the name of a uh, the name of uh, like one of those four wheel companies, four like four wheeler ATV companies? Mm, Katari. No. What am I thinking? Of? I don't know. <laughs> Kawasaki. Sorry, I was like Kawas. Oh yeah, that's not this. Yeah. One. No, it's the name of that that video game, that early game uh, game system in the in like the very one of the very first ones. Atari. Oh yeah. Oh. You're just not, bad oh. <laughs> at this. You know what? <laughs> Leave me alone, man. Leave me alone. But our Zerg player is taking a third appear. He scouts the expansion. He knows, okay, there's a big expansion. I got a little bit of time to macro, so... Uh, and he's even scouting for proxy pylons in the top left. Uh, I like the Zerg style already. Yeah, getting a Roach Warren and macro hatch going down for our blue Zerg player. Oh, Zergling is going to be surrounding that a Zealot. And wow. Katari can't do much about that because his units are bun bunched up in the upper left location of the uh, upper left direction, I should say. Of his natural. So that's not a good thing. That's a lot a of sentries, and he's pushing out. He's going for it. He yeah. has a probe. That means he he's wants pushing out. He wants revenge. He wants revenge, Yanshikino. Uh, crazy Move is going to see this. He has the Zelnaga Tower in the middle. He sees this push coming. Let's see what he's going to be able to defend with. Got a lot of roaches on the way. I don't know if you think he's going to be able to hold this off. Yes. Um, but he does have five gateways worth of reinforcements. Zerglings coming forward. Force fields could go off to trap some, but not going to lay down any, not just yet. And where are those roaches? I, I said yes because I thought he was going to, but the roaches aren't out yet. Throwing down a spine color quite late, using oh, a force field to block field. off the the reinforcements, and that ramp is going to stay blocked this entire time. And I changed my mind, Yanchi. You know, I don't think he can hold this off. Uh, boy, in the drones, I'm going to stop predicting things because <laughs> I'm probably going to be wrong no matter what I say. Yeah, he's doing a lot of damage here. Those force fields are going to be going and going and going, and those roaches are like, come on, guys, just let me out here. <laughs> I mean, even if the road just came down at this point, I think there's just too many stalkers now. Yeah, he's reinforcing so much. Plus one is even about to finish to add... Um, what's the Insult phrase? injury. Uh, yes! Oh my god, you read my mind. Holy... That was it's really like we finished each other's sit... It says it. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Queen's trying to kill stalkers. Doesn't work very well. And Katara with a huge supply, supply lead, just throwing down force fields, and still killing roaches at the ramp behind the force fields. This is... Not looking good. He's trying to muster up some Zerglings here, but uh, man, there's just so many units here. When plus one on Zelts versus Zerglings is not good news. Yeah, this is GG. Uh, there's the GG from Infinity Seven's crazy movement. He goes up a one zero. You know. So yeah, like I said, Katari, not really standard Protoss. I mean, uh, he just took down one game versus a Code A Zerg player. Yeah, that was weird. Yeah. That's so uh, weird. Very interesting game. Um, the the force field on that ramp really. I mean, there was like a there was a timing there where if he would have got those units out, it would have been a whole different ball game. Yes. But uh, those force fields are like, you know, no thanks, man. No thanks. Can't get by those. Can't get at by least not in this game. <laughs> maybe heart of the swarm. You can use that thing that throws things. Yeah, the viper maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I didn't research the zerk units that much, so I just heard there was something that threw things. So yeah. I don't know. But, uh, That's how well informed I am. Really interesting game here from Katari. Unfortunately, crazy movement. I think he did make the right decision by going with that hatchery, uh, that quick third. But I, I did Katari even scout that? He didn't scout the third. So he was just like, I don't care if you have a third or you're on two base. I'm going to attack anyway. Yeah. And like the thing is, crazy movement. He didn't see that push coming out for a long time, I don't think. Till I mean, the middle of the map. Yeah, like yeah. so he took it took a little bit to get those units out. I mean, I feel like he had plenty of resources to do so, but uh, wasn't able to get those roaches and links out in time to deal with the push. And also, didn't have any spine crawlers in his natural expansion. He had one spore crawler. Uh, um, he scouted the double gas. Maybe he was fearing some type of a DT rush. Yeah, that's a good point. And I don't know. He did I, really I, over drone. Like too, he killed 18 workers. He had 25. So, I mean, it's not like he over droned as far as I can tell. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's just, I don't think his third was ever really saturated either. Um, so just a really good timing there from, yeah. uh, from Katari. So that's game number one, down and out. Katari winning that. Let's move on to game number two, coming up next.